Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Um, I kind of have some bad and good news, uh, but you guys will decide the outcome of this. First, let me start off with this video because it kind of boils my blood that I that I hear this from them, especially when they they're not um, they're not forced to come over here. They're not forced to have the journey that they are looking upon to go all the way to the United States, knowing that they can't cross Mexico no more to go to the United States. They're still they're okay. You know what? They're being ungrateful, honestly. Last caravan, they were judging the food and, and, and their stay here in Mexico. And once again, they're doing it again. Let me play the video and try to translate everything. I'm going to try to translate everything. Check it out. He said, right here in this area, right here. We live like dogs. If it wasn't for the Americans that bring food to us here, we would die. Look, I don't know if the Americans do bring food down there, but all I know is that the INM takes care of them. I mean, the INM gives them food, gives them shelter, gives them uh, uh, soap, uh, toothbrushes. You know, it's like being in prison in the United States. When you go to prison, they give you your basics. You know what I mean? They give you your clothes. Your your towel, your um, sorry, your your blanket. It's the same. It's kind of the same thing when you go to a shelter, except you have more. You know, you have a little bit more freedom, obviously, right? Check it out. So that lady said that, you know what, um, nobody knows how we live right here. Nobody knows how we end up living here. Because you guys, you people that are, you know, recording us or, or that are judging us are just passing by. I mean, you guys you guys are not staying here to see how we live. You guys are just passing by. All right, and right now she's saying that um, the the basic food that they get every morning is beans and eggs. So I don't know if it's me. I'm not trying to be funny, but I feel like if they really are allergic to beans, because last caravan they also were making you know judgments about the beans. Maybe if we add a little bit of rice, you know, now and then they'll, they'll think that it's 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 okay. But I, I guess it's too much beans for them. Well, either way, she also goes on saying that um, and the afternoons when they prepare food, it's okay. Well, she didn't say that it's okay, but in the afternoon they prepare food. And then that food, if it's left over, they'll use it for the next day. Which, honestly, I'm not going to lie. There's nothing wrong with that. She says that they give it to them uncooked, sometimes cooked, sometimes she doesn't even know if, if, um, if the food is good to be cooked, like to be um, warmed up for them. Which honestly, if in two days the food goes bad, well then that's just because, you know, they left it in the, in the open, they left it outside, not in the refrigerator, st stuff like that, right? Because I'm going to be real honest, I don't live in a, in a medium level society, I, I'm in a poor area. So I eat food three days after sometimes. I'm not even lying. So this right here, what she's saying, it makes me mad. There's a lot of Mexicans that save their food, which is our leftovers, for the next day. And if the next day is still good, hell yeah, we're eating that food, man. I'm going to go on. She just said they have us like frogs here. <laughs> so right now she said, would you guys let your wife give uh, leftover foods to your kids? Would you guys let your wife give them food to your kids when, when you don't even know if, if she warmed it up, if, if, she, um, if she prepared it, if she made sure it's good? Which obviously, we're going to check if it's good. 
obviously the INM doesn't want these guys to suffer from, uh, you know, diarrhea or, or get, um, um, you know, an infection from the food. It's obviously that they're not going to just give them food that's cold. They're going to prepare it. They're going to warm it up. And they always do warm it up. It's normal. There's, I feel like they're lying. I feel like they're lying. And I don't want to say bad words, but it's hard right now. Trust me. But I'm going to keep going. Oh, no, she, the dude says, so then who brings you the food? She's like, oh, she's like, she doesn't even know what to answer. Like, like if she's trying to lie, but she just can't. The dude said, who's bringing you the food? She could have been like, the INM, the immigration, the Mexicans, your, your, your uh, police officer, whatever. What, what kind of answer is that? Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we go on with this next dude, she's at the end she said, you know what, even the even the chicken, even the chicken that they gave us was bad. And then she pointed at this lady that was probably sick already, and she said, Look, she even got sick after eating that eating that chicken. You know what I mean? It's cold right now over here. And I don't know if it's cold down there, but I'm pretty sure it's cold down there too. So I'm sick. I've been sick five days. That lady could have been sick four days, three days before eating that chicken. So what does she know? We're gonna keep going because I don't want to insult anybody. I just want to keep. I just want to translate and and give you a perspective of how I think or, or what what many would think that this is abusive of them. Like like I said, no one forced them to come up here. Let me continue. <laughs> So right now he said uh, something about God, and then he said um, that you know what? Hold on, let me rep let me rewind just a little bit. Okay, well, I think what he's trying to say is that where he comes from, you could be a drug dealer, you could work good, it doesn't matter. Like you know what? If God, I think he was kind of like talking honestly when he said uh, God could help me prosper or or, or not, but I, I'm a prosper or something like that, and that being a, um, a drug dealer here or over there, it's 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 the same thing. As I think that's what he's saying, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. It's all right. Correct me. Okay, so he said he's been deported. And that uh, he's willing to go back to the United States to have that new life, to create a new life, just like he did that um, last time. Okay. But he said that uh, the United States doesn't want to give him that chance, that he's, he, he can't receive that chance. Okay, so he said that he's been deported three times, and every time he's been deported, he goes back. He has that long journey. He walks those thousands of miles to get back to the United States. I'm not going to lie, but this is my opinion. That's a rotten mentality. You're wasting your life doing that. Because you're going to the United States, you're getting locked up, then getting thrown back. And then you're going back, you're wasting money, you're wasting time, you're wasting valuable time with your family, uh, your life. There's plenty more to add to this, but I need to keep going because I don't want to make the video longer. He said, that, you know what, I'd rather be in the United States than right here. Because right here I'm suffering a lot of... Um, Humiliation. Okay, so she he said that um over there in the south, probably in the shelters or, or in that area in the south cities, <coughs> that they're getting humiliated. They're getting humiliated by the people. And, uh, he remembers a story where there's an old lady, and she says that he says that he, um, she had gold hair. Uh, 
he thinks that she, she was American. I don't know how she gets that su that uh, that idea if it's in the South, but who knows? Who knows? And let me see. <laughs> and the lady said, "Who gave you the right to be here?" <laughs> And he said, no, ma'am, no. I'm sorry, ma'am. Nobody. I didn't even want to be here. That's what he said. And look how he thinks. You know what? I don't want to be here. And he's talking about Mexico. I don't want to be here. We want to be over there in the United States. They should have just deported us to the United States and the, and the, and the United States deported us back to where, where we're from originally. Like, what kind of, what kind of um, mentality, what kind of uh, ideas are those? You, uh, he really thinks that governments are going to spend a lot of money just to send them to keep playing ball with them. I mean, they're bouncing them back and forth. He thinks that, that they're able to do that with, without wasting money. This is the bad thing. I feel like sometimes these guys are not educated. They don't know what's going on in their life. They don't know what the real things, the problems the governments face, the people face, the society. I don't think he understands how to fix or how to be patient or how to work for his things. I really, I really don't want to add more to that. But this is this video and it's over. <laughs> And right there, I'm not going to lie, his last sentence, it makes sense. <coughs> so he says that, you know what, it's hard for us to. That um, we're trying to do this to make a better life for us, for our kids. That isn't, it wasn't easy for me to sell the little bit that I had to do this. And he's done this three times. I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't sell the house because the house, I gave it to my, to my, I think at the end he said like wife or, or kids, which is good. That's good. But he's, he's wasting his life trying to get, trying to make, create this journey that he thinks is going to, he's going to make it, which is nowadays is hard. So this video, it's, um, it's basically brand new. I haven't seen this video. This video barely showed up for me, um, right here on this social network. And it's just amazing how, again, once again, they're they're abusing the kindness that Mexico offers them. Because if it wasn't for Mexico, they wouldn't have get offered anything. They'd be over there with no shelter, no food, have to like look for food in garbage cans. Like that's the life that they're expecting. What they they, they, they didn't want help from the INM, because that was that was what was gonna happen if there wasn't an INM. I mean, who's gonna take care of them? They're they're kids, man. Because they don't go by themselves. They cross with kids, children. And they get sick. They get stolen, kidnapped. Killed sometimes. Ransom money. You know what I mean? So it's just crazy. The, um, the mentality is just what gets me mad. Especially when they bring kids. Like, it's just messed up. It really is messed up. But this has been my report for now. Uh, I'm going to bring up another video later on. I'm just still looking into the facts. Making sure that it is correct. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a good day. I hope, hope you guys have a good life. Take care of yourselves. Be careful. And God bless all of you guys, okay? Later.